Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I use Fellow to automatically sync my meeting notes and action items, both in Asana and HubSpot. And as you already know, my team at Surface, we use Asana every single day to manage our internal projects and external projects. And then we use HubSpot as our CRM, sales pipeline, and workflow automation tool. But today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I streamline all of my workflows using Fellow. And if you do wanna check out Fellow for yourself, reminder, there is a link in the description below, and you'll get 10% off your first year of Fellow when you join up. But if you're new here, welcome. My name is Mark Key. I'm the CEO of Surface, and we are proud Asana partners and fellow ambassadors. And I make videos like this every single week to help you and your team get the most out of your tech investments. So without further ado, let's get into the demo. The first thing I want to show you here is what the integration looks like between fellow and Asana. So for that, I'm going to start off by going to fellow. If this is your first time using the tool, you're going to notice a few things. First off, I just want to go over some of the settings so you know exactly what you're looking at. There's two ways to get to the different settings, and these settings will determine whether you can sync your, your personal meetings for your individual like one-on-ones and recurring meetings, or if you're an admin and you want to set access for the entire organization. So when you click on your avatar at the top, you can first go to the workspace settings, click on integrations, and you're gonna see that you can connect things like your Google Workspace, you can connect HubSpot to this as well, and your various other SSO or um, security tools here as well. The next place that we wanna go is back to your avatar, and then you wanna go to your user settings. This is where you're gonna be able to configure everything for the meetings that you are a part of. So every user will have to go through a process similar to this. And so we're gonna to navigate to apps and integrations, and I'm gonna scroll down, you're gonna see uh, my Zoom is connected, Google Chrome is connected, we have my Slack connected as well, and then we also have Asana connected. We'll keep going. You'll also notice that we have HubSpot connected. So when we click on these integrations, there's a few things you want to look at. First, let's take a look at the HubSpot integration. You'll notice it just gives you a quick blurb on what this integration does, how it will look, and how this helps me is it keeps all of my notes from the fellow call or from the note taker, I should say, in sync with the contact or deal records that I have inside of HubSpot. And so right here, you'll see that you have options to automatically send the notes straight to that HubSpot record three hours after the meeting has concluded. If there are no action items, if there's no recap, if there are no notes, nothing will sync over. It's only gonna take the information that was gathered inside of that meeting and send it to the appropriate place. So you can toggle that on or off. And when it's on, you get these two additional settings. You can always associate the deals with the associated company, which you obviously want to do. And for me in a sales position, I want to make sure that the contacts I'm speaking to, all the information, all the notes are syncing back to the deal record in HubSpot, and then is also being associated with the company record. So that if I'm looking at the contact, deal, or company record, I'm seeing the same information. And then we want it to either include the AI recap inside of HubSpot or not. And so I always have these both toggled on. All right. Next, we'll take a look at the Asana configuration. It's going to spin up here for us. So once it spins up here, you're going to see at the user setting um, level, you can select a workspace and a project. Now, what this will do is you can select your workspace, you can select the project that you want all of your general action items to go to. There's a way that we can, you know, give it a bit more information, and I'll show you that when we flip to the recurring side of things with the Asana integration. I'm not going to connect it right now because any general notes that or action items that I want, I just put them straight into Asana. But when it comes to meetings, this really does help me. So let's go back out of here for a second. All right. And then let's go into uh, a meeting here just to see what the integration looks like with Asana. And then I'll show you what the integration looks like and what the different options are with HubSpot. So I'm going to go into my Google Calendar. I have one of my recurring meetings up here. This is a, a bi-weekly one-on-one -on -one with a team member. So I'm going to join this meeting. Like so, we're going to wait for fellow co-pilot to admit itself. There it is, we are spinning up. I'm gonna click on take AI notes, just like so. And so because we use Fellow for our meeting agendas, we would obviously have our talking points here. So talking point one, 
uh, talking points to, and so on. I'm going to admit to the copilot, and then any notes can go here. We're already familiar with it. With this, notes can go here. Perfect. Now, where this becomes really interesting is any action items that we fill in here, they'll automatically sync back to Asana. And I'll show you how I did that right after I show you the setting. So this is action item one, and you can see already that it's syncing to the workspace and the project that I selected when I set up the recurring meeting integration. Then I can go action item two, like so, you can see, again, our second action is syncing back to Asana. We'll wait for that one to finish up there, and then we'll go check Asana to see what this looks like. All right, there we go. It's now synced over to Asana. So now if I go to Asana, here is my one-on-one -on -one space with Matthias in this case. And you can see action item one is here. It's assigned to me. Action item two is right here. It's assigned to myself as well. And we can see that this was synced from an action item um, from my one-on-one -on -one with Matthias. So then I don't have to worry about going back to the calendar event or going to my notes in Fellow. I can just come right into Asana where all my other tasks live. And then I can select um, the task. I can uh, reassign the, the due date. And then I can check it off right there as well. Let's go back to our meeting here. And as you can see, it's a two-way sync, so when I complete it inside of Asana, it also completes it inside of Fellow. And that makes it so when the next recurrence of this meeting comes on my calendar, these uh, action items aren't popping back up as needing to be completed. But of course, if we haven't completed, then they'll auto-populate in the new recurrence of the meeting. So that's one way that I'm using the Fellow integration. Now let's go over to the HubSpot side of things. Now for this example, I'm going to go to um, my meetings here, and this is going to pull up all our various meetings. And so what's really nice about this is, let's just go to, let's go to my meeting with Matthias. So the way that you would have set this up, you want to uh, find that recurring meeting instance inside of Fellow. So in this case, it's a bi-weekly meeting. The next occurrence of this meeting is on the 20th right there. So I'm going to click into it. You're going to see that that recording is already there. Um, but what we're going to do is up in the top right, you're going to see this little lightning bolt. So as long as Asana is already connected from your user settings, we already went over that step. Then you just want to come to the lightning bolt and go to the integrations for that meeting instance. And then it's going to pull up the different options that you have. Now, I've already connected it to our space. That's how I was able to do the demo for you. But basically, you'd have to go in, you would edit or select the workspace. So in this case, I'm going to select Surface right from there. And then I'm going to select the project as well. So I'm going to select Matthias. And it's going to pull up our one on one, and I'm going to press connect. Now, you'd want to do that for each of your recurring meetings. So, I've done that for all my one on ones, and I've also done that for our team like weekly syncs, right? And so, that's how you want um, to set it up and think about your action items so that you're not duplicating work and again, not letting tasks fall through the cracks. Now, that takes care of Asana. Now, on the HubSpot side, this is where it gets really cool because it's going to take all your notes in Fellow and it's going to sync them again to that contact record. Now, because we've already connected HubSpot in our user settings, I'm just going to go to an upcoming meeting that I know I have with a prospect. Now, let me just find one for you here. All right, here's one. So I know I've got this meeting coming up. I know you can't see it. It's blurred out, um, obviously, to protect the privacy of our clients and, and customers um, or prospects, I should say. Um, but you can see on the right-hand side here, because I've connected HubSpot already, it recognizes that these contacts not only have a meeting with me in my Google Calendar, but they're also contact records in my CRM. So if I click on the HubSpot right there, we can see that we've got our one of our contacts and we can kind of shuffle through the various people that are associated with this call. You can see the company and you can see the deal that's associated with it right there. Now, you have the option to manually push the note to HubSpot. I can simply click on HubSpot and I can tell it where I want it to go for that record, for the deal, or for the entire company. And then I'm going to send it across there. 
I'm not going to do it right now because I don't really need to, but you can do this manually. But again, when we set up our HubSpot settings, if you remember in the user settings, we can make it so that it automatically does that. So you don't have to think about this. It will automatically go from Fellow to HubSpot after three hours of the meeting being concluded. But you would um, go here and you would set up um, that that integration and then you'd be able to send the note manually if you wanted to send it ahead of time if you wanted it in the crm faster or if you know for whatever reason fellow missed something which i know it wouldn't now i'm going to go over to not this record i'm going to pull up another record for you and again i know you can't see the names and emails we did that on purpose but you can see right here what uh, the notes will do is it'll show up as a call inside of HubSpot. And so you can see I've got a logged call created with Fellow. Then we'll be clicking. It allows us to view that meeting in Fellow. So I can click that. It's going to open up that record in Fellow. And then it's giving me a summary of the call. So this is exactly what Fellow would have given me. It's giving me my chapter summaries here as well, any decisions, and then suggested action items. These are ones that the Fellow AI suggested for me, not action items that I selected. So let's go back over to that meeting. And there's that meeting right there. And now it's really nice because I can come in and I can make sure everything's in sync. I can see the contact that it's associated with. And then if there's anything I need to change about this, I can make those setting changes right here. So there's so much to be explored about Fellow and, you know, the different integrations. If you don't use Asana or HubSpot, don't worry. Um, Fellow integrates with lots of other CRMs like Salesforce and lots of other work management tools like ClickUp and Monday.com. So make sure you check out um, the option for yourself. Again, if you want to try Fellow, there's a link in my description. You can get 10% off your first year when you join one of the Fellow paid plans. Do the trial though. Try it for yourself. Connect to your tools. See how Fellow can improve how you and your teams work together. Thanks for watching. As always, please like this video. Share it with someone if you found it helpful. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.